Hey, I'm Jocelyn, and this is my friend Liz from Means to Travel. And today, because she is a Chicagoan, we are going to do the Eats of Chicago. So first and foremost, I think you're gonna agree with me on this. You cannot talk about food in Chicago without talking about Chicago-style pizza. Or deep dish pizza, same thing. <laughs> well, do you think so? Because I feel like Chicago-style pizza is not just deep dish pizza because they make everything backward, right? Pretty much. So <laughs> it's like kind of created in a pie tin and then all the toppings are put onto the pie in a reverse order. So, so like cheese first. Yep. Then and the toppings. And then made the tomatoes on top. And then sometimes different places put like Parmesan cheese maybe sprinkled over that, yeah, right? Exactly. Okay. What is your favorite place? Because there's a bunch of them. What's your favorite? So my favorite is Pequod's, but that's more of a local spot. Yep. If you are down in River North where a lot of tourists stay when they come visit Chicago, you're going to encounter Lil Monati's, Gino's East, Giordano's, Giordano's Uno's. Yep. There's a ton of choices. Yep, and they're all gonna be pretty good, but mind you that one piece is like eating like, I don't know, half of a normal pizza, so. Seriously, it's super heavy, so much. Also something you should know about Chicago style pizza is that yes, because it is this massive deep dish pie, you're gonna have to wait 45 minutes to an hour when you order. So you can sometimes call ahead and that's not a bad idea especially if you're traveling with kids and you know hungry kids can't wait right yeah so that's always a good idea so be sure to budget into your schedule the time you need Definitely. in order to get to that pizza so it's like you might wait an hour once you sit down for the pizza to come and you also might wait an hour in line <laughs> <laughs> and it's worth it you just need to plan ahead yeah. the second thing to try when you're here is the chicago style hot dog and the most important thing to know about that first and foremost is there's no ketchup on it what else is on there though <laughs> there's all sorts of good stuff on there you're gonna have like sweet relish you know that really bright green sweet relish um there's a pickle and that is not a sweet pickle. It's like, you know, like a kosher kind of dill pickle yeah. sort of thing. There's mustard, there's hot peppers and stuff on there, but it's like this big amalgamation of good stuff and ketchup would just totally throw that off. So if you want ketchup on your dog, get a plain dog, yeah. do not get a Chicago dog and put ketchup on it because you're gonna get side eye exactly. at the very <laughs> least. And the place to maybe try a Chicago hot dog, um, one of the popular spots is Portillo's and they also have the next item on our list at that restaurant and that is the Italian beef sandwich. It's basically like a sandwich with just hot a beef. ton of beef, yeah. <laughs> but they do um, dip them, like some. sometimes you get them double dipped, like yeah. the whole thing. So like the bread and all gets dipped in au jus and it's like, it's messy as all get out, but it's so good and obviously quite juicy. Super good for lunch. Yes. The next food we're gonna talk about is basically not just food, it's that you can get a ton of different ethnic foods all over the city. There's certain neighborhoods too that are just really well known for their food cultures. Freak there's town. Freak Town, <laughs> Chinatown, there's um, the Pilsen neighborhood has really good Mexican food. Um, and we're standing in a neighborhood right now even that you get, can get restaurants from all different Lots countries. Lots of variations and um, because so many different people came and settled in certain areas, you can yeah. get like not just the food, but you get a good taste of culture from different places around the world. Yes. So one of my favorite things in Chicago is Garrett's popcorn. And they have all different kinds of flavored popcorns and things like that. But my favorite is the Chicago mix and it's caramel and cheese together. <laughs> and I mean, it's not like on the same piece of popcorn, but half of the bag is caramel and half of the bag is cheese. And it's that salty and sweet and oh God, I just love it. It's, it's so gourmet good. popcorn. It is gourmet so popcorn. Good. There's also Nuts on Clark, which um, has kind of become their- Competitor? It, it's new, yeah. So like Garrett's has been around since what, like the 40s, yes. right? It's and been around Nuts forever. And Nuts on Clark maybe has been around for 30 years now too or so. So I guess they've got, they've got their own part of the pie right there. But anyway, so Chicago popcorn is a really good thing. So another sweet thing are Frango Mints. Yes, so I grew up with Frango Mints growing up here in Chicago and it's associated with the old Marshall Fields department stores that used to be here that then got bought by Macy's and now actually the Frango Mints brand was bought by Garrett's 
Of course. Yes. <laughs> so you can get it at Carrot. So there's these great. little minty chocolate cubes that come in a box that is dark green in color with the with the logo. And so it's like a nice high-end chocolate that you can get for like holidays and gifts and also just for yourself. Give them a try. They're delicious. I feel like that's a thing for all people who grew up in Illinois or spent any time in yeah. this area. Frango mints are just a thing. So while we're talking about sweet things, there's actually a big donut culture in Chicago for whatever reason. I don't know. But there are a <laughs> lot of really great donut places. There's a donut shop at every corner. <laughs> that's an exaggeration, but it's really. Also, you know, there's a bar on every corner. And yes. that might not be an exaggeration, especially when you get into neighborhoods and stuff. You find these great, like little local places and when you're at those places you want to get some goose island beer because that's a local brew yep yep it's named after the island in the middle of the chicago river called goose island and so it's definitely one of the like authentic chicago beers around here but there's a huge craft beer culture that's coming up and up Mm -hmm. as well and even a cider culture so there's a cider brewery that you can go and visit in um the logan square neighborhood too and the cool thing about goose island is it's not just available here so if you are out traveling around and you just want a little taste of chicago you can get yourself some goose island i've even seen it like in europe and stuff i've seen it in beijing (laughs) did you (laughs) really i did not see it in beijing (laughs) that would be cool exactly and another thing if you're out for a drink in chicago this is kind of <laughs> my word of it, my word of warning for everybody. So there is something called Malort. It's this terrible, in my opinion, <laughs> tasting alcohol. Most people hate it, but for some reason, it's become this like cult favorite of Chicagoans, and they <laughs> people still drink it. But it's also a joke to kind of play on tourists. So be if, aware. <laughs> yeah, you might want to check out to see if um, you're making friends with people in a bar and then they offer to buy you a <laughs> shot of Malort. They're not really your friends. Yeah, <laughs> they might be just wanting to see your like scrunched up face that you make when, <laughs> when you take just the shot. Just a good fun joke to play on people, but it, so it tastes like kind of anise like right it's like black licorice i mean it's bitter it is bitter (laughs) so there's your thing to avoid when you're doing the eats of chicago and listen chicago's got a heck of a food culture there's so much stuff there's like micro gastronomy things and like just all sorts of things that you can come and find here and i know you chicagoans are opinionated people so please add all of your suggestions down in the comment section because we know there's so much more to eat chicago so thank you eliz i appreciate of course. you being here Happy so to be. you can find eliz at means to travel on youtube and all the social media platforms and um so long from chicago cheers